Why do you need a CSCS card? Which one is the right one for you? How to book a CITB test? And what is the best way to prepare for it? My name is Greg and welcome to SiteEng. In today's video I'm gonna answer all these questions, so let's go! So guys, to start about the CSCS card, you actually need it to start work in construction, especially in this is construction site. I'm not talking here about the design and all other working in office stuff. We're talking about the construction site and you need this card. This card is construction skill card and the main thing about it, it tells your employer that you passed your health and safety basic uh, exam. And these cards are actually required to access all construction sites. So that would be the first thing, you just need it guys. And dependent obviously on your experience and on your qualification, you're gonna get different type of cards. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna focus mainly on three types of cards. And the first one gonna be the red one. This is the very first card, uh, if you're just starting your career in construction. The second one gonna be the green one, which is the laborer cards. But to be honest with you guys, most guys working on this card doing all other trades as well. And the third one gonna be the white one, the ones I've got. So once you got a degree or other qualification, you can apply for this card. I'm gonna say on the back of it, that you qualified engineer, whatever degree you're gonna have. So guys, as I said, the red one gonna be the very first one. You just need to pass your exam for it and you're gonna get this card. The only problem with this card is the card is only valid for half a year and then you need to change it for another one once you're gonna get your qualification, once you're gonna get some experience. So second one, guys, uh, is the green one. For this one, you need to take probably around 100 pound the course and then you're gonna pass and then you're gonna get it. And to be honest with you, uh, there's plenty of engineers I worked with and they're still operating on the green card and they're very good engineers, so it doesn't really matter much. And for the white one, you need to get your qualifications approved. So if you're not from the UK, if you've done your school outside UK, you probably have to send your diploma to the UK NARIC and then they're gonna certify that your qualifications are comparable to the UK ones. So then after this, you can pass your exam, but in this case, it's gonna be managers and professionals exams. So it's a little bit different to the laborers one, to the basic one, and then you're gonna get your white card. So guys, how to get your CSCS card? I'm gonna jump now to the CSCS card website and we're gonna have a look there. So I'm gonna leave the link below so you can have a look yourself. You can go through all this about the CSCS card industry. Uh, you can see the partner card scheme. So if you got some other schemes, they might be uh, combined actually with your CSCS card. So you, or your qualifications might be actually on the CSCS card itself. So I'm gonna go now to the card finder guys. So as you can see here, uh, you're gonna ask us uh, search by occupation or the qualification. So as I said, if you got a qualification as an engineer, you obviously jump here. Qualification, you're gonna type here civil engineering and then you're gonna apply for the card. Uh, we got talking about engineering skill guys. So that will be the white card in our case and the occupation as well here so that's what I said if that's going to be your first card you can just type here a laborer and uh, you're going to go for it so that's the card finder guys and I'm going to go now for the CITB exam so you're going to find it on the same website you can actually book through this here there's, there's going to be links somewhere here uh, and it costs uh, 22 pounds I believe uh, so yeah you can you can book the test CITB website so we're going to jump now to the CITB test website so health and safety, uh, you can see here the one of the first, very first thing. I'm gonna leave the link for this as well. So book the test. Uh, we're gonna go here, individual booking. So you got ways to book online by phone. Obviously we're gonna go online. So the first need to register on the view website. So you just have to create your account here. So create a web account, uh, privacy policy acceptance. So I believe you have to just uh, click it here and agree to it. So then you're gonna create your account. It's very easy guys, uh, it's step by step. You can actually log in later and check your check your card and your employer actually can check you in the CITB database as well, even if you don't have a card with you. Once you got this account, you can book your test. It's gonna ask you about your address, about the postcode, and then you can buy through the nearby, nearby you search to see the exam. So guys, uh, that'll be the way of creating your CITB account and then booking the exam. But obviously before we book the exam, we're gonna, we're gonna prepare for it. And the best way guys for it is just to download the CITB app. You're gonna find it in your app store on, uh, on the Google store. And uh, just make sure they're gonna be the CITB. I'm gonna just show it here. That's gonna be the one. And uh, if you're gonna be booking uh, with your qualification, you probably go for the MAP, which is managers and professionals. So the range of questions is a little bit bigger, but it's, it's all simple guys, it's all simple questions. So uh, it's just the basic ones, as I said. Obviously, once you're gonna go through all the questions, obviously, and you're gonna spend some time uh, learning. The app is really good. Obviously, you can use it wherever you like, and it costs around five pounds, so it's not that much. And you're gonna get ready for it 100%. 
So guys, maybe a few words about the exam. Uh, obviously, don't stress too much. Uh, it's, it's really simple. Once you get ready for it, you're gonna pass 100%. On the day of the exam, guys, it's obviously good to be a little bit ahead of the schedule. And to be honest with you, I was two times before, much before uh, my time, and they just allowed me to sit it. They're gonna take a photo of you, which then gonna be later on your card. So make sure you're gonna look nice if you wanna have a nice photo on your CSCS card. And then uh, you need to put all your stuff in the locker. So make sure you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna switch off your phone, put it into the locker, everything into the locker, and then you're gonna sit your exam. You can take a few mock questions. And if you need to use some uh, other language, you just ask for it and they're gonna give you the earphones so you can still use it. You can take them off if you don't need them. Obviously you're gonna be learning yourself in English and you wanna pass in English, but just to make sure you understand the questions well, you can still ask for it. You can put your headphones on and make sure it's right. What I'm going to also show you guys, uh, just if you don't have your qualification, you're not going to be applying for the white card. You can actually apply it straight for the green card, which might be actually better, dependent obviously what's your plans and how much money you want to spend for it. There should be more stuff popping up. So you can see this, you got a nine, 90 pounds online course. I'm going to open this link. I'm going to open this one as well. So it's a one day course here. You're going to pay your 90 pounds and you're gonna get your green card. So guys, you have to remember that once you're gonna pass your exam and everything gonna be ready, you need to book your card. So the card itself is another cost, it's 36 pounds. So what I'm saying, once you're gonna get the red one, uh, you have to pay 36 pounds and after six years, you need to pass another exam for 22. And then you need to pay another 36 for your green one, unless you're gonna be applying for some other card. So it might be actually better guys, just to go for the for the for the labor one straight away as this is going to last for longer in theory you might spend actually a few pounds more at the beginning but uh, i think it may pay off as well if you got any questions about it just uh, don't forget to leave the comments below and i'm going to reply as soon as possible so guys i think that will be all in today's video you don't really need to know much more about the cscs card the very first thing is guy you just need it so make sure you're going to prepare you're going to pass the test and you're going to get your first cscs card and then you're just going to start looking for a dream job so guys, thank you for watching. Please leave the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and there are going to be more and more videos coming about this and obviously about all other engineering stuff as well. So see you next time.